when history changed its course. The sit-down strikes began on December 30th. They began with the attempt of GM to move the dies at Fisher No. 1 to Grand Rapids and elsewhere. Hello everybody, Doug Turgot here, uh, here in Flint, Michigan. It's going to be a little learning lesson today on history and the history behind the local unions and UAW in the Chevrolet mostly. Right now I'm working at General Motors Flint Assembly. It's right behind me, over there, somewhere. But right here, this road right here, it's called Sit Downers Drive. And that's when the Sit Downers strike it's named after the sit-down strike in 1937. All right, we are walking up to the park right now. It is a beautiful fall day, beautiful weather outside, probably like 65 degrees. It's becoming to look like fall, actually. It was 90 the other day here in Michigan, hotter than some parts in Florida. Florida. You can see above me, here's the sit-down memorial, uh, a memorial to the strikers who sat down in the General Motor plant to protest the hard working conditions and the unfair rights going on. Beautiful stonework and property management all throughout here. It's just a nice little park with a lot of history that we're gonna discover here today. Here's their first agreement the UAW came to on February 11th, 1937. That was a huge day for General Motors and the UAW has formed in their business. A lot of memorials to the people in the sit-downers. Crafted by sons and grandsons of the 1937 sit-downers. toddler holding a sign that says us my daddy strikes for us little tykes onto victory and as you can see uh there's a woman with a basket carrying and the women would actually break the windows to and deliver stuff to the husbands and workers inside food to help them with the strike and those are original windows from the factory actually they were just recently vandalized from some uh, people in the area but they recently cleaned off all the statues and got it fixed um, they did have the vice president at the time wanted the National Guard to put an end to it and uh, get the workers back to work but the president decided to uh, agree that the sit-downers are protesting and they have the right to and he sent the National Guard there to protect them from the police brutality and the police trying to uh, forcible entry the facility and get them back to work. It was a bitter winter in January. Flint was the valley forge of the people who work in the plants. These were times when the summer soldiers fell away and the winter soldiers stood up in a terrible trial. Armchair generals and colonels were demanding that the National Guardsmen go into those plants and shoot the sit-downers out. But for once, the National Guard truly maintained law and order. The strikers were disciplined, but the Flint City government was the General Motors government after all, and General Motors insisted so the police tried to evict the sit-downers. This is not vandalism you see there. They are breaking these windows to let the air in and to let the people 
beer gas house. down strike in tear gas and blood as if it were a kind of 13th century peasants revolt fail. There were gas. Donated by local 1618 active and retired membership. The Earth Globe. Now all around here they have brickwork for memorials of people and active UEW members and members of the 1937 sit-down strike. Beautiful all over the facility here in Flint. Um, they take high pride in American-made cars and you can respect that for them and the people who fight to make this happen. Um, Nice little memorial to the military members of the UAW and their families. UAW takes a strong stand on the belief of buying union-made vehicles. So thus saying that, um, you are not allowed to drive a foreign vehicle and park at the Union Hall. There is a sign out front that says, owner will be towed at expense. And here's a nice little uh, granite. Uh, marble chairs and benches and here's the globe again and here's a sign that says out front the hall foreign made vehicles will be towed the flag tells you how the people feel they have just won back one of their constitutional rights home is the zip down after the long patient struggle in the factory the men go home what these people are celebrating deep into the night is the end of an impossible and unbearable subjection. Unions have brought wage earners so much security and freedom and dignity that it isn't easy even to recall the terrible oppression that came to an end with the winning of the zip down strike. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Hope the video was okay. Uh, bye for now.